Unfortunately, a lot of people think that a calorie is a calorie. In order to lose weight, you have to cut calories. This is both true and false. It all depends on the type of calorie you are consuming. Ansel Keys, who is one of the primary reasons why we fear fat and cholesterol today, wrongly, did do one good thing in his career. That was the Great Starvation Diet. Great Starvation Diet is known as the best research ever conducted on the effects of famine plus hunger on humans. What he did in 1944, he took 32 men. 24 weeks, the men kept their regular jobs, which is very physically active, plus they walked a minimum of 22 miles per week. 24 weeks, the first 12 weeks was a baseline. He fed them 3,200 calories. Then he started the starvation portion. The starvation portion, the results, and these are all averages, Weight loss went from 152 down to 115. Heart rate went down from 55 to 35. And this was to preserve the metabolism. Because that, our metabolism's job is to keep us alive. 21% reduction in strength. They only had one bowel movement per week. If you remember my poop talk, you're supposed to have 12 inches per day. <laughs> Heart size decreased in every one of them. Every one of them had mental decline, depression. They didn't feel that they were skinny. They just felt everybody else looked fat. And this is the same mindset that anorexics have as well. Finally, they were hungry all the time. Or as I like to say, hungry, cranky, plus hungry. The amount of calories that were given during the starvation period was 1,570. 1,570. Think about that number and think about the number of diets out there today that don't even touch that, especially ones geared towards women. It's usually under 1,200 calories. Plus, how many women actually never get 1,570 calories when they're not on a diet? What you have to understand is if you do cut calories to lose weight, you are damaging, hurting your metabolism, enzymes, hormones, organs, and overall health. Our body wants to thrive. If we don't give it the calories, calories are energy to our body, it's not going to thrive. Unfortunately, most people will do whatever it takes to lose weight in sacrifice of health. Okay. Any good nutrition program or system, notice I didn't say diet. That's a four letter word. Let's get rid of that <laughs> forever. We'll focus on nutrients over calories because we are cellular. We're made up of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trillions of cells. If those cells don't get the nutrients they need, they're constantly going to be hungry. You can eat 4,000, 5,000 calories of empty food. It doesn't matter. You're constantly going to have to feed that in. It doesn't matter if it's Ho-Ho's, Twinkies, school lunches, Snicker bars, bagels, pasta, orange juice, pizza. It doesn't matter. You're always going to be constantly hungry. Anybody can lose weight eating anything. Those foods I just mentioned, if you just eat 1,000, 1,200 calories of it, you will lose weight. You will. However, however, you are constantly going to be hungry. And you will constantly, or you will reach a plateau, that dreaded diet plateau. When weight loss stops and you basically get frustrated, you go off the diet, weight comes back, and that is the precision of yo-yo dieting that people follow through their life. Whenever somebody comes into my program, I always tell them two things. It doesn't matter what their past diet experience was. I tell them, eat more fat, 
lots of it, eat less carbohydrates. Because you see, fat is the preferred fuel source for our body, for our brain, for our health. However, we're told eat carbohydrates, eat carbs. They're good, they're energy. That is true, they are energy. All forms of calories are energy to the body. However, is it the best form of energy? No. If carbohydrates are so good, then why is it that there are essential proteins that we must eat in order to be healthy? Why are there essential fats that we must eat to be healthy? Why is it that there is no such thing as an essential carbohydrate? Not even vegetables are essential. Although I have never tell somebody to stop eating their vegetables, <laughs> especially kids. The scientific fact remains. Insulin drives fat, body fat, which ultimately drives body weight as well. What drives insulin? Blood sugar. What drives blood sugar up? Carbohydrates. When we focus on health, and we focus more on eating good fats, good proteins, our body returns back to health. Our metabolism returns back to normal. Weight, inches, body fat returns back to normal. Plus our metabolism, which is in charge of keeping you alive. Focus on health. Get the nutrients, get the proper amount of calories, and your health will come back. Thank you. Stay strong, stay positive, be the improvement warrior. Hi, Jason's followers. <laughs>